Hello to all my YouTube subscribers. Um, I'm actually doing another video on my magnetic heater update. Um, I've been getting a lot of comments on how I actually made this magnetic spindle that spins inside as well as the polarity of the north and south um, how it's aligned. Um, this is my actual spindle that I made and as you can see right here I have the magnets going around it and it is the north south north south configuration um, you could also do it in a configuration of south 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 going all the way around or north going all the way around but it's just harder to place the magnets together and screw them down if you're doing that because they're pretty powerful magnets um, but it works either way north south or south or north however you align them it still generates the same heat uh, same magnetic field being put out there uh, the spindle is just on a nut I purchased at Home Depot it's a 5 8 I believe it's a 5 8 nut coupler and what I did was used a half inch extension motor shaft with a coupler here that joins the shafts together and then I pre-drilled some holes into the actual nut and threaded them uh, to hold the magnets on there so it can spin at its 3000 you know 3500 rpms and vibration free you know it flows very smoothly there's no vibration in it um, this is the cheapest way you can go in you know placing these magnets on a spinning spindle um, you can also purchase a hexagon rod stainless steel uh, like 12 inches and have it lathe down at a machine shop you know to a half inch side that's the best way of doing it uh, to add more magnets to create a longer spindle you know if you wanted to put it in a longer copper pipe or something make a radiant heater out of it but this is you know under twenty five dollars to do this um, you can purchase these magnets at magnetforsale.com um, and that's the four is the letter the number four and it's not spelled F-O-U-R, it's just the number four, magnetforsale.com. And they're very inexpensive. You know, that's the best website I've found that sells these magnets for cheap. But this is the whole thing right here. And it just actually slips down inside over the existing motor shaft. And right here, I have a hole in the copper pipe where I can have access to my... Uh, to my actual set screw so I tighten it down right there onto the shaft it locks down onto the shaft and that's all there is to it so let me know if this helped out anybody and that it answered all your questions on how I did this alright thanks for watching